from from coming on the show and and and, and talking to you. You seem like a much more sophisticated guy than I thought you were. Gonna be. Oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another episode of Asian Not Asian Podcast. This episode continues directly from the episode <laughs> before because we are in the same booth. Nothing has changed. Yeah, except we're we in ate the lunch. same outfit. Yeah, and and uh, and Delia. We were talking about we were talking about <laughs> dating. I'm serious. This is going to yeah, start. This is, it's just yeah, like okay. John Wick. You are so you are going to share John this Wick tweet two to John yeah. John Wick three. Yeah. You know, it just like continues. Yeah. So last, if you <laughs> last, if time, you're following along, last if episode. You're, if you're following along, last time on the episode, Delia was talking about going on a date with uh, someone, um, and uh, sounded like a disaster to me. <laughs> just my dad instinct was like, this guy's a fuck boy. He had and, an earring. Yeah. Yeah. He had one. Okay. He had an earring. Yeah. He came in, and let me tell you how. And our guest. Oh yeah. Was, so he came. Uh, he came. He came he, to pick her up. He came to pick her up because they're going out somewhere. Yes. And um, which is fine. He did, I <laughs> think, bring her flowers, which is cute. Yeah. I'm I don't hoping know if, it's for her. I hope it's not for him. Yeah. We don't know. I don't know how people are now. People sometimes just buy themselves flowers. <laughs> but what? And our guest pointed this out. This person didn't say hi to us. No. Wrong thing to do for an Asian family. Yeah. Okay. As mom and dad. Yes. She should be coming in. Come in. Take off your shoes. Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Tell us how much income you make. (laughs) (laughs) Just just as, hi, my name is, you know, Andrew. Yeah. I'm an engineer at Amazon and I make, yeah. Okay, great. Um, Get out. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can leave. Didn't didn't say hi. (laughs) No, didn't say hi. Huge mark back against us. Very sus. Yeah. But he seemed 27. I'll tell you that he did. I didn't like. I didn't his, like it. <laughs> I didn't like the uh, the North Face jacket he was wearing. Like that? that particular color? No. Oh, I kind of liked it. Oh, you do? It's color blocked. I like I that like part. That was the only thing I liked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not. We're gonna have to text Delia later. Yeah. And ask her how it's going. But so far, um, the commentators, that's me and Jenny, mm-hmm. are saying. Not, not a fan. Good. Not, not look, this season's good. not looking good. If it's going to be short. Not going to make it to the finals. This is opening moves from the round. You know, looking weak. Looking weak. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Need someone um, with a better offensive play. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're using a lot of sports analogies. Yeah. Uh, but you know what's not weak is our Hack City Comedy Show. <laughs> <laughs> we the next one is uh, May twelfth. Please mm-hmm. check that out. Um, and uh, it, it's a great time. We have great comics, and uh, it's it's once a month. It's on Friday. Union Hall uh, tickets available in the link description or just Google Hack City Comedy. And uh, of course, leave us a review as always. Please leave us a review. Just hit five stars. Leave us a com- leave us a review on, on the podcast app uh, if you're listening on iPhone or if you're on Spotify, you can give us a follow. On, on YouTube, you can do all sorts of crap. There's like a million ways to interact with us. How about this? You leave a comment on YouTube. Tell us what you think about Delia's date. You didn't hit see, but you know, you got the sense. You can get a sense. He skateboards. Skateboards, tech person, color block, North, North face. face jacket. I hope he doesn't listen. <laughs> I'm assuming he doesn't. He would know who There's we are. There's no way. Yeah. Maybe that's why he didn't say hi. He was too intimidated by Yeah. It. Then I would like him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, this, I, then everything's turned. Okay. This and guy. He's like my biggest fan. Yeah. This, I'm his biggest I'm fan. I'm warming up to this guy now. Yeah. I'm warming up to this guy. <laughs> but you tell us now how, how, uh, what you think on, on, on YouTube. Um, uh, we got to uh, say some shout outs to uh, Patreon uh, subscribers. If you're... No one to know what that is. Patreon, the best way to support the podcast. It's just pa- patreon.com slash Asian, not Asian pod. Uh, today, we got someone. We'll give you a shout out. Uh, we got someone, Ben Uichi. I don't know if I'm saying that I right. I feel like that's Japanese. It has enough vowels. Uichi. In the right order for it to be Japanese. Yeah. But I don't know if it is or not. Ben doesn't sound, Ben doesn't sound like a Japanese name. Mm, yeah. I guess I don't know any Japanese Bens. Yeah. Now that I think about mm. it. Oh. Uh. But there are a lot of Bens my age. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean in the world? Yeah, in the world. Okay. That narrows okay. it down. <laughs> so, I know a lot of Bens in general. We do know so a lot of this Ben is my age. Okay. <laughs> half you, Japanese. Half Japanese. Yeah. I like that. Because like I feel like if you're I feel like there are I don't know very many like full Japanese people named Ben. Okay. Full okay, yeah. Half Japanese, you know, Jewish dad. Yeah. Um grew up in uh, I'm gonna say New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling this person grew up in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Gosh, I, I don't want to like muddle this person with uh, the date I just saw. So I'm trying to get that person on my mind. Yeah, yeah. That he's not. He's nothing like that. No, no. He no. always goes to the parents. He always goes to the parents. And asks for their hand in first date, yes, third date. He does date. the thing, the Filipino thing where they kiss the hand. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's pretty cool. That's cool. But don't do it to an Asian person you don't know. Yeah, yeah. I would be thrown off Only by know that. If, you, if you know, you know. But um, then does it do that? He, but he um, was repressing his Asian-ness and um, oh. moved to Los Angeles. Moved to LA. Um, and like is, for, is like really exploring his Asian identity and his yeah. adulthood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He lives in, uh, I want to say he lives in uh, West Hollywood. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. WeHo. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Because he didn't know what WeHo was. Before. He didn't know. He didn't know that it was the gay, the gay. He side didn't of know. Town. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He didn't know. Just like I <laughs> didn't know. And he went there and he was and like, he was like, oh, oh, you know. Yeah. He just like got an apartment that was in. Yeah. His he just, you know, budget. his friend hooked it up. Yeah. And he's like, oh, this and is he's cool. Like, oh, Weho has a full scene. I had no idea. I had no idea. And he he goes there and he hangs out and sometimes he, um, you know, uh, wh uh, what does he do? What what are we feeling? We're, I'm thinking photographer. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's photographer, a photographer. Photographer. Um, slash barista, of course. Mm -hmm. But you know, loves just 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 exploring. Yeah. Let's just say that. Absolutely. Ben's exploring. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you for the the funds. I know um, your financial situation is probably tight. Rent is high in, in West Hollywood. Yeah. But uh, if your financial, we say system, that everyone's financial that. It's just like they're always like really not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Like every person we guess, we're like, well, sorry that money's tight. We really don't respect any of we the people. We don't Patreon respect people. any of our, our listeners. Bad. <laughs> but if you're not, if you're doing great, that's great. I think and, that's also great. And yeah. uh, hook it up with some um, patreon.com slash Asian, uh, not Asian pod. Um, you know who's doing great too? Who? <laughs> our guest. Oh, wow. Our guest is doing what a great. Turn. Yeah. Um, this person, I didn't even like do a whole thing because I was just like listening to this person's podcast this whole time. So I didn't do like proper like Wikipedia research. Yeah. Uh, but Can I just say I watched a bunch of his like stand up clips and stuff to like this week to prepare. And it's so odd to like <laughs> to move from screen, screen to like to now he's just in front of me. Right. <laughs> just like, yeah. Like it's like we just summoned a golem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we, if you say this person's name enough, he will appear yeah. in the podcast booth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like. It's like uh, Beetlejuice, you know? <laughs> that, but, is, that is my booking process, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I ended up here. Yeah. That's how that's how we do it. Um, we, yeah, the, we're, we're going to summon you the, the way we summon <laughs> Beetlejuice. And uh, this, this person is a, um, a comedian, uh, much taller than he looks mm -hmm. on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Phil Wang. Phil Wang. Phil Wang. Hi. Hi, wow. guys. Hey. Oh, 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 oh shit. Were you there the whole time? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I was hiding. Um um I popped up. Yeah, I didn't like Delia's date either. I, <laughs> I, I didn't even I didn't even know Delia. Yeah. I met her coming into the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. And yeah. even then I was like, No mm, way. Delia can do better. Yeah. I, I <laughs> Absolutely. He tapped on the window when he arrived. I didn't oh, like that. Yes. I like the tap on the window. No one respectful has ever tapped on a window. Knock oh. on the door. There's a yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a door. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not fishing in an aquarium. No. Yes, I don't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. He had he had a bro energy. I did not like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's you know, it's a day date, which is quite innocent. It's, so yeah. Day date, yeah, I think they're going like they're mixed signals for me. Okay, mm. but if the flowers were for her, that's which, nice. I hope they were. I hope so. Is that yeah, nice? Is it not just a bit? First route one, you know, it's a bit like yeah. first thought, isn't it? Oh. Okay, but then here's my other thought. I, was I like, feel like it, the, the two, three dates in, you should have enough in jokes that you can bring something that's maybe a bit funny. Or, maybe, oh, but we're comedians. That's true. <laughs> we're, <special laughs> we're broken. Yeah, we think, we're, yeah we're, we're messed up. We're always trying to get up on someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll never see yeah. this. Well, I got your chicken, you know? Yeah. Every relationship is a competition. Yes. And <laughs> most people don't know that. Yeah, yeah they really do. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought, um, well, thank you for having coming on the show thank but thanks for having, for having me here yeah. it's yeah. it's I'm, I'm thrilled it's so nice to have something to do <laughs> <laughs> incredible <laughs> you know what I, I honestly there are times when we you know we try to book out the show and uh we get all sorts of people and whenever we don't get someone um <laughs> i always just think i don't think of it as they don't think we're big enough or they don't like us yeah it's just that they had lunch plans yeah. yeah. They had lunch plans. Absolutely. Whereas I just had lunch. I yeah. just organized had lunch. lunch noon. Mm -hmm. I had an early lunch because I knew I was going to be here for two. Wow. See? Organized. Yes. 
Did you mm-hmm. have lunch by yourself? No, no, I went with um, my new friend, Jason Choi. Oh, that's right. He's also right. been on the show. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's he's awesome. only been hanging out with people who have been on this show. Right, and you I, met Karen yeah. Chi? <laughs> yeah, I only hang out with Asians Yeah, As, in New York. Yeah. As yeah. you should. In the United Kingdom, all white people. Yeah, Yeah. so I'm just loading up yeah. while I can. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I've, yeah, I've got a desert ahead of me. <laughs> and this camel needs to fill his yes. tongue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you, you got to... You got to go to Japan and have as much ramen as you can get. I'm having coffee with Lucy Liu later on today. Oh, good. Just gonna... yeah. <laughs> Lucy's great. You know. She's very fun. Yeah. Yeah. She, Funniest. Yeah. Too. And extremely yeah. Asian. If very you, Asian, you guys yeah. didn't know. Um, I, for, I wanted to also say that this is a trap because yep. I, as, and you know, <laughs> yeah, as you suspected, I, I you as you suspected. The moment I walked in here, I was yeah. like, yeah. I You're like, think this, this is, is a trap. trap. There's an ambush <laughs> about to happen. Yeah. Um, your seat opens up into a pit. No, um, <laughs> it's a trap because I did want to ask you, you know, what's funny. I was like, uh, I was looking up you and then I typed in Malaysian comedians. Oh, yeah. And it's all of the Asian comedians. <laughs> I never made, like, I just, I it was like I was in, uh, the basement yeah. and like putting together the red yeah. conspiracy <laughs> yeah, the board. Yeah. and it was like everything goes back to Malaysia oh my god yeah it's kind of like yeah I feel like you have that in America with Canada it's like they're actually Canadian that's yes! so true that famous oh, actor shit. is actually Canadian yes, yes. It, it, there's a lot of that with Malaysian comedians I think there's yeah. Ronnie mm-hmm. there's you mm-hmm. uh, Dr. Jason Leung yeah mm-hmm. Nigel Nigel Leung yeah oh, aka Uncle Nigel. Uncle Roger Uncle Roger, Uncle yeah. Roger. Yeah. All right. Um, this is not he's not a comedian but my boss <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. He is yeah. Malaysian, oh, really? Chinese, British. And oh, wow. Sounds like a great guy yeah. to me. <laughs> also, that sounds like a great combo. Wild tall. Wild really? tall. There you go. Yeah, super tall. Um, oh. all, I'm, I've met most of you guys now, and, and you're all very sweet people. But what the fuck is happening? <laughs> is there some sort of like level A's comedy or some shit where you guys are doing that? Is that what I said? A levels. A levels. That was what I was telling you about. You, I was like, what are you talking about? I was yeah, trying to think about like the, the, the yeah, that's a your... high school. Di- I guess you high school diplomas. Is that what that is? I thought in, it was like in the UK. Okay. But Malaysia, I think I guess Malaysia, Malaysia, Malaysians are just quite funny, very sarcastic people. Mm. Oh um, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, sarcasm uh, exists. In Malaysia? In Malaysia? in Malaysia, because like in Japanese, it doesn't really sarcasm. It is a thing. Um, I, I think so. Uh, the, what Malaysians have a, a, a sort of dark humor. Our country's quite chaotic. Oh. Um, like uh, it's very the, the its history is quite chaotic, and the government's always chaotic and absurd, and the country doesn't quite work. Mm. But people. It's almost like a point of pride that mm. Malaysia fucks up all the time, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And so, pe- and so people kind of accept failure as just like this funny part of life. I see. And I wonder if that, if that uh, feeds into, to, I mean, like Sense Uncle with humor. Nigel's character, Uncle Roger. Yeah. It's all about failure. It's yeah. all about uh, people failing true. at cooking. That's mm-hmm. very true. Um, Jason Leong's comedy points out a lot of people's. Um, logical inconsistencies and things that don't make any sense and uh i guess so does ronnie yeah, yeah. because I, th- I think i think it creates people who are very what's the word in t- attuned mm. to um ridiculous things i or, see you know, yeah but you, you grew up in you were like kind of back and forth no i grew up in malaysia yeah. i was born in the uk but literally three weeks after we yeah. flew back to malaysia and i grew up there oh, and then I, I, I moved back to the uk "Quote unquote," back when I was sixteen. I see. So okay. half half of my life. Okay, in each so place. you're like pretty, you know, you know what's going on over there in the UK. Yeah, did I'm pretty you, British. Did you um, did you stand up in Malaysia ever? ever I've done there? a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, mostly pretty fun. Really fun. Okay. I'd like to go back and. I think to really do stand up well in a place, you need to be there a while. Even coming to the yes, states, totally. I can do a set here. And I I, mm-hmm. I do all right, but I'm, I'm like, oh, you need. Yeah, I watch other people come on after me like, ah, oh, you you are really too, you need to get uh, tuned uh, in. No. To, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I hope you have some great jokes about whatever those Mennonites. I have no idea what those well, people Well, those were. ladies were. Yeah. 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 You I'm know? Not sure That's the ladies. stuff that slaps. <laughs> <laughs> I because I will say there's like, there's like New York experiences of which there are one of them, I think, which is a real n- niche one that you got to be here for a while is a Mormon making friends with you. A oh. Mormon? Yes. I haven't had that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had that. What? Yeah. And I've had that in Wales. Oh, wow. In, in Wales. the UK, in Wales, on a small rickety train. Yeah. Going I was the, also on a train, yes. The Welsh Valleys. And I looked over the aisle and I was like, those look like the guys from the Book of Mormon. 
<laughs> and they had these white shirts and their name tags and they were kind of one of them was kind of smiling looking yeah. over at us and i was like don't don't look don't look, don't look. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. More, not so much like they're religious extremists more they're american and they probably want to chat yes and then is that, and is it, that what you think uh, of as americans are just like it's just oh, they want to talk mean, it's don't just they. well scary. this is the thing so I, I this is my this is the type of Asian I've been this week. Yes, Asian in the big city. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've been Asian Asian in the big city. You just, and yeah, uh, it's funny to thinking that um, New York, like uh, in the U.S., people consider New York the rude place where people don't talk to each other. Sure, yeah. Sure. And me, but me coming from London, yeah, I'm like these people need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> these these people in New York talk way too much. The people here talk like they're they're NPCs in Grand Theft Auto. Like, I, 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 I was honestly on the subway. Mickey Toons owes me five dollars. Yeah, yeah. The, where's my bacon, egg, and cheese? People oh. generally do that. I was I was sat on the subway waiting for a train, yeah. and lady next to me, she didn't seem mad. She's just normal lady, and she looked at her phone and she went, "I don't have fucking time for this shit. What the fuck is this shit?" At no one. Yes. And yes. I was like, oh, I was like, this is Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, Did you ask yeah. her about the side quest? Because that's how you do it. You go, what do you have time for? And she goes, yeah. well, I'm really busy. I've got to deposit all this gold. <laughs> and you're like, I'm on the quest now. And yeah. then it like, appears in your like, task bar. Yeah. I Yeah, I think Americans more than anyone have, and I think New Yorkers more than anyone have uh, main character syndrome. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah okay. And, for sure. And, and yeah. then narrate, oh, okay. narrate their lives um, ah, yes. for the benefit of everyone else. It's, okay. it's, it, yeah, it's very... So for me, it's funny that New York is considered the unchatty part of America. Anyway, have you been to other parts of America? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. And yeah, they, they're yeah, even chattier. Are, we're even more chatty. <laughs> I think it's like here, I think it's like they see it as like rude. People see right. New Yorkers as right. just right. rude. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, I think, I mean, like, in other pun other parts of America, they talk to you so much, you almost think they're, like, distracting you from, like, as, like, their partner, like, robs your car. Or something. Yeah, yes. It's like, oh, we'll keep them on the line for, like, two more totally. minutes. Totally. They're, like, they're like, oh, scamming uh, me yeah, by yeah. having this nice conversation. Fuck, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 It's just way too much. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. So you, you met some more. You, you met some more. Oh, sorry. So back to Wales. Yeah, yeah back to Wales. You're back in <laughs> Wales. You're on the train. Like yeah, you're on the train. Where people don't talk to each other. No, they, they probably do in Wales, actually. So I was on the train, and then this, the, this guy in my iron shirt leant over and said, hey, how's it going? And I was like, oh, hey, man. How are you? How are you? And so we started ca catching, talking, and saying, "What do you do?" Oh, we're comedians. We just came from a festival, did a gig. Oh, cool. And then, and then I, I said, "So, were you guys posted here in Wales?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's a great place." He's, he's American. And, yeah, he's well, American. they all have to be, right? They're all from Salt Lake City, aren't they? Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. So they're not the all missionaries. From, yeah, right. the missionaries can be from anywhere, oh, but I enough. don't know if I'm there's assuming. another. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, are there? I assume there's other Mormons, other places, and that you eventually they'll be like. Well, I guess they go around to convert people. Yeah, so that's surely the whole there must thing. Be. You're right. You're right. Like you're right. To do that, so like eventually right. there's going to be like a Japanese Mormon. Who's that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, Never these guys, one. these guys were American. He's very, very sweet. Yes. And um, uh, and I said, um, wow, this must be a tough posting in the United Kingdom. People are not very religious, and um, uh, he said something like, in a very euphemistic way. I saw him search for the words, and he went. Yeah, people are pretty stuck in their ways. <laughs> <laughs> and I just took that to mean people telling him to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 10,000 times yeah. a day. Because <laughs> <Again, again. laughs> they're not interested. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, it's so secular a country now mm. in the UK. So it must be tough. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're peddling not just Christianity, but a specific, rather oh, well, extreme very... version of Christianity. Yes, oh, yeah. That's no, that's, uh, that's the, I don't even know, cherry cola of Christianity. <laughs> yeah. Very niche. Like, yeah. this is, you yeah. really got to, like, grapefruit or whatever so um yeah the same when i had was someone was on a train here yeah here oh. and somebody was like looking at me and this is how i knew that it was a it was a woman and oh, she was very okay. cute and she was smiling at me and that's I was, how they get you yeah and i was looking and i was like for a second i was like is this person flirting with me and then i was like that's not possible oh they're mormon and i was like it made sense and why then is I it saw, not possible women do not talk to me <laughs> okay? oh no i don't not even talk no with that shit. attitude <laughs> It was, yeah, and she kept talking, and she was talking, she's very sweet, and we were, we, like, started talking about, you know, I don't know, spirituality, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, oh, mm -hmm. did you, you know, do you think this and that, and I was like, I don't know, she was, it, I don't know how they trained them up, but they're yeah. very good at, like, not making you feel threatened. That's true. But, like, kind of, yeah. like, going, hey, don't you think you should be open-minded to this thing, which is all true. I'm like, yeah. sure, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, obviously, you know, I didn't go anywhere i don't even know what i don't know what the end game for them is yeah is i don't know either you, but like um, no one's approached me 
Yeah. And I'm now uh, I'm annoyed. That's a, no, well, just wait around. Just like wait I, around and it'll happen. I feel or go to out. Wales and it'll yeah. happen there. Maybe you already look so much like a Mormon. Yeah. Like, oh, we, we got her. We got her. She's a... Yeah. <laughs> look at her. Yeah, like, yeah. She doesn't drink or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Sister Jenny, what? why are you wearing pants, though? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they wear pants or not. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's awesome to see you. Um, but you're here doing like shows and or you tape something? Yeah, I filmed um, uh, a bit of... Um, the new series of Life and Beth, Amy Schumer's show. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I was, awesome. I was in the first series and um, season, and yeah, there's yeah. a new season coming right. up. Um, and I did one gig the night I arrived. I don't know why. When I was coming over, flying over, I was like, why did I? Yeah. Why yeah. did I do this? Um, was that Butterboy? You did Butterboy. Butterboy yeah. in, okay. in Brooklyn, which is such a nice gig. Awesome. Uh, and I and but I was glad because it kind of just gave me something to do the night I got here. And yeah. It just kind of got me onto the rhythm and on, on schedule and stuff so it was, it was fun in the end and also that's right. where i got to meet jason uh jason oh Troy. nice okay oh, there you go yeah. that's right that's right now you're now you're one of us yeah yes welcome thank yeah. you <laughs> yeah it's, it's uh, nice it, yeah but now i'm just hanging out i just um because I, I was flying over anyway so i thought i'll just book out a few days and i'm just kind of having like a personal retreat nice in, in 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 brooklyn again you're it's it's awesome to have you here I, I don't even know should we do our um yeah what kind of asian were you this week yeah because i feel like there was a couple things yeah, because we, we haven't done on. this. We haven't done the podcast in, and we also didn't do any catch up in the last episode. So we just really talked don't. about dating. We just went straight. <laughs> oh, into that was dating. the first one of the series. Uh, well, uh, we just took like a like a like break. break. I okay. was gone for three weeks. Off. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, on your bachelorette. Yes. Here getaway. we go. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. what we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna come we're gonna put a pin in that because we're gonna talk about that. that. That'll be a fun one. That'll be my. That's gonna be my thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can ask <laughs> me first. Then. Okay, can. Mike. What kind of Asian were you this week? I was a first birthday Asian. Woo! That's the last time I saw you. Yeah, the last time you saw me. Yeah. My son's first birthday. Oh, congrats. Yes, not my like, first birthday. Yeah, I was, like, I was confused. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're like, they do numbers different precocious. here. Precocious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it was uh, it was my son's first birthday and it was awesome. Um, you know, so his, his mom is Korean and so he did a uh, dole, which is like a fate choosing party um, where, mm. you know, it's the kind where you're like, it's it, you got six or seven different objects and one is a gavel for law and one is uh, a stack of cash for for wealth and one is a stethoscope for doctor and then wow. of course i had one for un unfortunately a microphone but, yeah we had a microphone <laughs> and that was supposed to be podcast broken yeah. which thankfully yeah. he did not pick and i, I think <laughs> that's the snort i got the snort out of it and yeah we all collectively were like i hope it's not the mic. i really yeah. didn't and it's so funny because you know, I'm obviously the son of immigrants and, you know, you're supposed to like be higher up on the Maslow pyramid, right? And oh, as, nice. Right? And you're yeah. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to be closer to self-actualization. I don't have to worry about... I think you have to be able to pronounce it before you do it. <laughs> no, I, <can't. laughs> I think that's what's holding you well, back. Well, I've been drinking. So like, it's, you're supposed to get up there. I'm not going to say it anymore. Yeah. So you're supposed to get up to the top of the pyramid. <laughs> Fucking British. And... Then, and 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 I, I did not I don't feel that way. And uh I, I was like, it's it's I do not want my son to be part of any part of this. No no no. You know, like go yeah. back down, like be a farmer or whatever it was. Yeah. Or, you know, like go get down to the get down yeah, to the base of the so I've never heard of this ceremony. Is it a Korean thing? It's a Korean thing. So it's oh. your it's your uh, Adobe, did you call Dole. it? D O H L um and uh Doljabi. And it's like it's the know. most Asian thing I've ever heard of in my life. Right? <laughs> yeah. It almost feels kind of like how they pick the next Dalai Lama. Do you uh, know how they pick the next Dalai Lama? No. So how they, do they do that? So the way they do it, this is you know, it depends on which Buddhist sect you are, as we all know. Uh, so for sure. When they find the next Dalai Lama, what they do is they find a child and they bring they bring a bunch of stuff out. Yeah. And the Dalai Lama, the the real Dalai Lama will pick the thing that was really his. So it's like a oh. bunch of different like here's a bunch of books and like whatever. Uh eyeglasses or something like that and the kid will pick the thing that was his oh uh, but i thought the whole point of buddhism was to eschew possessions oh maybe that's what mm. they gotta do no i don't know maybe all oh, right maybe. but yeah like they that's how they like know it's the uh, uh, reincarnated dalai lama i see interesting so this one uh he is uh picking the different things and like now people will like update the things you're supposed to select so sometimes there's like a game controller so mm. yeah, i can be a gamer um, there is, but one then you can game the system and only choose things you want your child to, yeah. to, to end up doing. Yeah, right. Yes, that is you really very, can. That's okay. a great point. Yeah, so you can just only, it's also placement. It is um, where you put, put the objects. It is. Yeah, yeah you can make the podcasting microphone really small. And yeah, hard to, and hard to find. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, you hide it. Yeah, you yeah. hide it <laughs> under the, the table. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's he picked the actually it's something I didn't think he would pick. 
uh, and I didn't think of this as being his fate, uh, which is the tennis ball. Mm-hmm. So ah. that means athlete, mm-hmm. right? But a lot of people are like, oh, of course he's going to pick that because it was like bright yellow mm-hmm. right, versus mm-hmm. everything else. Yeah. Uh, I just, I guess I just didn't think of him picking it because he never really goes for stuff like that. He usually goes for things which are like long and skinny. So it's like, I thought mm. he was going to go for like the gavel mm. of anything because it's long and skinny. Yeah. You can easily grab it. Mm-hmm. But he went for it and um, he went for it a few times because he went for it once and then like everybody started clapping and he like, he like looked up and stopped. And so we kind of like reset it. So we like kind of pushed everything like, closer together and then he did it again. So we're like, okay, he's going to be an athlete. I think it makes sense. Yeah. He has, he's got a great arm for <laughs> a one year old. He has an, he has amazing grip strength, excellent upper body. Uh-huh. He's not, um, great at walking yet obviously so i'm thinking maybe it's going to have to be a sport like quarterback uh pitcher yeah you know bowler yep. yeah not a, doesn't have to do a lot of like fast twitch running i see archery koreans are very good at archery holy at, shit at the olympics I yes think, i think and he looks great in a bucket hat which is what they shoot in he's so ah. cool mm. <laughs> he's so I cool get him an archery thing. Very Brooklyn, Yeah, actually. Ve- that's actually really Brooklyn. Well, very archery Brooklyn is very Brooklyn. Thing. It is. Really? Just yeah. doing something weird is Brooklyn. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's like this yeah. whole area in uh, Gowanus where there is right next to each other. There's three different things. One is an axe throwing Oh, bar. yeah. Yeah. There is an archery place. And then there's a fencing thing. So Gosh. you can do all of the different martial sports, but in like a quirky way. And then I think <laughs> next to that is like a clown school. Are these Brooklyn. like training centers or like bars where you can also One, fence? Mm, the the axe throwing thing ironically is the bar yeah, yeah. there's always in a bar it doesn't I know. feel safe to they me. love that I don't know why don't know that is, one but... seems the most dangerous but yes. that's the one that's a bar the <laughs> yeah. other two are like you're yeah. they're like yeah. you're, you're supposed to really practice your the thing there right okay fair enough <laughs> yeah so that's what uh that's what I was I was a first birthday and it was a lot of fun um it was great thing it was you so know, fun and, you know uh, I couldn't even see the picking that's how full it was really I, I couldn't see video. I'll show you. oh yeah I showed you later yeah but yeah it's really cute and uh well we'll see I'll I'll keep you guys posted. I was feeding. So I'm trying to make his son my friend. Yes. Um, he's one and an Aries, so we'll get along. That's and right. uh-huh. um, I, your mom was there. Yes, I met that's her right. for my the first there. time, yeah. and she was holding him, and he had mango. And I said, "Can I feed him mango?" And so I was like, "Cause I want to be his friend." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I kept feeding him. Oh yeah, yeah. To the point where your mom said, "No more mango." <laughs> <laughs> to me. And I was like, "Sorry, sorry." I was like, I was like "Sorry, sorry, sorry." Uh, I'm trying to get him to remember, like, associate, like, food with my face. Yeah. Like, hey, something. He, he's going to be yeah. like, just have a, an upset stomach and, like, I'll yeah. never uh, forgive that lady. Yeah. I'll never be friends with that lady. <laughs> the, lady so to this day. the lady who keeps showing up at my apart, like, at my house with a mangoes. microphone and, yeah, forcing yeah. Yeah. mangoes. Yeah, my son loved the thing. He's, like, the age where he knows what he likes, but he doesn't know that he needs to stop because he can have too much of yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, Because he'll, like, put, like, 20 mangoes in yeah. his mouth. If he can. Yeah, and I did. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry if he yeah. had any problems after that. Today, actually, this is a real quick story, is he loves grapes. And he, so we gave him grapes for like, you know, a bunch of grapes for, for sure. breakfast. And then this is like an hour later. And uh, he's like playing and he and he's like chewing on something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, shit, what did he put in his mouth? So I stick my finger in there and I pull out a grape skin. He was still in his mouth. Oh, mm. it was there the, the whole time. He was like saving it for something. It was like on the side. <laughs> like a chipmunk. Like a chipmunk. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a chipmunk. Um, nice. So I had to put it back, but like it was really cute. You no. put the, it back in his mouth? No, I didn't. Okay. That would, <laughs> that'd be gnarly. Yeah, you didn't know about that? If you find something in a child's mouth, you have you, to put it back. You have to put it back. <laughs> it's bad luck. It's <laughs> really bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm always putting That's gold so coins funny. in there, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, how about you, Phil? What, what kind of Asian were you this week? Um, oh, yeah, well, I mean... Th- uh, traveling Asian. Oh, that's right. S- uh, s- sleepy big, Asian. Sleepy yeah. Asian. Sleepy. I've been sleeping. You came from LA? Um, I came from Glasgow, Scotland. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you came I, I, from Glasgow? Because I'm on tour and I just started a tour in the UK. Oh. But then um, got to film this as well. So I, I, oh, that's why you were on the car, car pod. That's you're, right. You're so my, my last, the last episode of the podcast I did uh, called Bud Pod with my friend Pierre. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Listen to all that. <laughs> <laughs> we... Um, we had to record in the car because on the way to one, from one trip to the other because we just didn't have time. So he just set up the laptop in the back seat and we just kind of talked to that. <laughs> and then did the show in Glasgow, then went to the airport hotel. This is my new life hack. Uh-huh. If you have a morning flight, stay in the hotel in the airport. That's, yeah. It changes everything. It that's, changes I mean, that's everything. why they got it. Yeah. Right? I know. You get up a, a like bit right later. Before. And you're right yeah, there. Yeah, and you're right there. It's great. And then I flew over to New York and yeah, yeah. So I've really hit the ground uh, sleeping. 
to mm. be honest. Wow. Um, yeah, so I've been yeah, I've been traveling Asian. How's yeah. the uh, How's the tour going? Good, 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 good. It's, it's um I think it's my best show so far. I it's my favorite one to perform. The crowds are great. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been real. F I've done it's two, two weeks in. We've got a few we've got a few more weeks to go. Is your okay. is your um, co-host? Your opener, or is he? He oh, is, yeah. Okay, Pierre cool. Navelli, really funny guy. That's awesome. so he's my opener as well. Wait, so hold on. So, because I was listening to it, um, I I'll listen to it so that no one else has. To. How about that, okay? So no, no it was really good. Well, why are you actively trying to <laughs> stop people? This yeah. is reverse psychology. I'm yeah. gonna have I've, a real I've, yeah. jump in listeners. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so I have. Um, I was listening to it, and uh, wait. So you were driving. Just because I, I just enjoyed I wasn't it. driving. You weren't driving. No, we have a tour. I have a tour manager who like. Oh, he was oh, driving. Because okay. yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, "Are you driving and podcasting?" Mm -hmm. That's very dangerous. That would have been dangerous. Yeah. yeah. But then, especially because we're so funny, because it's such a good podcast. <laughs> so I would have been good. distracted. Yeah. On the road. And like, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And they're screaming, and there's, there's a fire. Um. I, no, it was it was it was it was funny because I was listening to it like uh, last night, and I was like, man. Whoa! Some why, why doesn't a comedian put some comedians in a car and just drive? Oh and then god. I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. that's why they did it." Yeah. <laughs> it I, I like I was I literally was getting excited about this idea. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, we could do comedians!" Like, oh fuck! <laughs> maybe we could go somewhere yeah. and get a hot drink. <laughs> oh shit! But maybe tea? No, not tea. What's another drink? Slippies? No. Chocolate. God damn it! Yeah. And I was very upset. But I just thought the format was funny because you were like yeah. you're driving and you're talking about. Uh, you're talking about uh, Baz Luhrmann's... Uh, oh, Elvis, Elvis, which I hated. Oh, my God, me too. It took it's me three so times bad. to watch it. I said I've, I said it's... Um, and a true, I stand by it. It's like watching a two and a half hour long trailer, trailer for the movie for, Elvis. Yeah, mm. I thought that was a really funny idea. It, it, yeah. There no, and there isn't a shot that lasts more than three seconds. Yeah. It's horrible to watch. Yeah. It's like watching a headache. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. I generally don't like Baz Luhrmann. But Same. it was funny also because... Uh, if there was any lull, then you'd be like, oh, look, a cow, moo. You know, like you would just see something and just yeah. make fun of that thing. <laughs> it was yeah, great. Yeah, it was yeah. like the best thing. Yeah, we're going up through like the north and into Scotland. So it's very beautiful scenery. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, but then, but Glasgow to New York was quite a, a, a shift. It's a, a I've, I've been yeah. to Scotland once and it was very, very gorgeous. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is just how I did it. It, it felt very, it, you know, it's very beautiful, but very, very rural. You know, mm -hmm. there, uh, there would be like huge stretches of time where I wouldn't see anything else except more like lambs or cows. or. Yeah, I mean, like Glasgow that. and Edinburgh are the only really big cities in the whole country. Mm -hmm. Right. And there's only five million people in the whole country. Oh, so, shit. Yeah, so it, it's pretty sparse otherwise. Yeah. But but it's very, yeah, it's very beautiful. And that's why there's so much golf there because there's just so much space. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The sport I did was uh, I was doing some shooting clays. Oh, that's fun. Oh. I've done that as well. That's yeah? great. It's the best. It's lovely. You feel fantastic. You, you feel like God. It's great. <laughs> That's what I said. Like, I'm, I'm a God. I walk up to any uh, like surviving clays and I just <laughs> I shoot them execution style. Is yeah, that yeah. weird? Yeah. You say some cold blood of so, Latin, yeah. Latin shit first. <laughs> and they're like, uh, <laughs> Mr. Wang, you do have to pay for them. Yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed out here. You're actually not supposed dangerous. to do that. And why are you wearing all that tweed? Um, well, uh, yeah, about. You, Jenny, what kind of Asian? I was a bachelorette Asian. Oh, hey. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. And now we're back. So you we, we, went, we were yeah. talking. I'm sorry. We were talking earlier about the different terms. Yes. Um, in the UK, it's a hen party. It's mm -hmm. a hen, hen do. Party. Here's bachelorette mm -hmm. party. Bachelorette. Do you know if there's a Japanese term for it? Oh. I don't think they do it. I talked about it with my oh, mom. Interesting. I don't think they do this. Like they don't, you don't do, think they do it now. Do, do, Even do, now, not yeah. the guys either, or just no. the, I think they may like go drink, but you right. don't have like a like a name for it. Oh, yeah. Wow. So what what is so what was your bachelor party? Bachelor okay, party. So it was for my college roommate who I lived with for four years. We were randomly placed together, and we just got along. She um, met her fiance um, through <laughs> K-pop Tumblr. K-pop Tumblr. <laughs> yes, wow. in college. Whoa. Oh wow! Isn't that crazy? That's also like that's like early adopter for K-pop. I yeah. mean, it was yeah, that's... it was uh, the wave of Je Girls' Generation wave in 2012. Okay. <laughs> mm. um, kind of like the first YouTube wave um, that happened, right. at least mm. in the states. Yes. Um, so she I became see. like a very big fan of Girls' Generation. And Is that a band, Girls' Generation? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, they're they've reunited. Um, okay. and they met through the Tumblr, and it's been what 10, 11 years. So how, how do so you, nice. how does yeah. that even work? I thought, what is, 
Is there a functionality that allows you to meet people on Tumblr? No, you just like slide into the DM. It's like any other social media. Oh, you like media. message you Yeah, stuff. yeah. So this, uh, her fiance was also into Girls' Generation. Yes. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would think that would be a huge red flag. <laughs> no, but if you're both into it, it's a green flag. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I don't know. Do you know, do you know the band Baby Metal? Oh, yes. Um, they're... they're they're uh, this very cute, like Japanese. Yeah. The, the, the cute young. Japanese girls, and they but they sing metal. heavy metal. Oh. But like poppy kind of Japanese yeah. um, songs on top of like heavy metal sort of uh, uh, patterns and music. Yeah. And I went to I saw them Glastonbury and they were great. But I looked around at all the guys who were in the crowd, <laughs> and it's exactly who you'd imagine yeah, watching I mean, three oh, young Japanese girls. I, on yeah, stage. I was like, that's like, yeah, that's, that's a different thing. A lot, of, rest, a lot of ponytails and oh, wrestling t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would, that's a red flag. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. So no, like, but it's two women. Oh, okay. Oh, this changes yeah, everything. Changes. It's, it's, normal. Changes it's normal. It's normal. It's oh, normal. Fine, fine, it's cool. Fine, fine. Okay, now <laughs> suddenly it's a very cool, <laughs> okay. very cool thing, and I'm very happy. Sorry, I was like, everyone's okay. getting up in arms, and I was like, oh, I realize where the mistake is. I did not <laughs> realize what was going on. That makes sense. That yeah. is because okay, okay. I am stupid, and I put on. I was doing the thing that straight guys always do, and assuming everyone's a straight guy. Yeah, how dare? How dare. <laughs> so wait, hold on. This guy likes girl stuff and not shooting guns. <laughs> Not executing you, clay yeah, pigeons. Clay you don't look like, weird. You yeah. don't like murdering clay pigeons. <laughs> Red flag. And pretending you're in Boondock <laughs> Saints. Yeah. Where's your Boondock Saints poster, dude? Um, that has nothing to do with the bachelorette party. I just think it's fascinating. <laughs> that's very fascinating. So they so met. They met through K-pop. Okay. And now and then they're, they're and then they got yes. Uh, they're getting married. They're getting married. Great. Um, and but and you had a bachelorette party. Yes. And so I've been to a couple, but uh, this is the first one I've been to that has been so exhausting. I love oh. her if she listens to this. I love you. But it's it was exhausting. It was, was it? like yeah. itinerary packed. Yeah. I've never like moved so much. Yeah. In you my mean, life. Like, you mean by like location to location? No, like activities. Oh, wow. Mm. So it was so, like, like glamping. Hiking. Oh, God. Mm. Um, but like a little bit of a tear down from glamping. It's mm. like a cabin, but it's tarp. You know, like there's like a bed it just like and it looks camping. like a cabin, but it's tarp. But then I got, but I had a bed. Um, there's no heater. <laughs> we're in this California. This isn't at all. <laughs> this is just tarping. But there was a tarp. <laughs> Sounds like you're on the run. <laughs> yeah, I was on the run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We stayed in a motel. Um, there was no phone service. Wow. Okay. So I got high and read my a book. It was the weirdest experience. Mm, whoa. Because um, I had nothing to look. Like I was like, all right. So I like read a book. But yeah, it was like, Truly, like, action-packed. Like, wake up in the morning, do a yoga class, eat lunch, go on a scavenger hike, organized by an outside organization. Oh, my God. And then, so it said scavenger hunt, right? And then I was like, oh, it'll be, like, I organized it. Like, I write clues and I, like, put it under the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. it's, like, on a mountain. Oh, my God. In the mud. They told us to cover our legs because there might be ticks. Uh. What? And then we were, like, they gave us GPS <laughs> and um, a walkie-talkie. And we had to like find things based on like coordinates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was crazy. Ge and like geocaching? Yeah, it was like and there and it was like climbing into like brush. And I'm not like just like on the side. I mean like you for real had to like hike the brush to like find targets. And then you had to like uh wear these special collars where yeah. <laughs> if you don't comply, they blow your yeah, head off. Yeah, they blow your head off. Like stuff like that, like Fuck fun yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> um yeah, and so that was like the whole trip. Oh like everything was that pace. And then she was like, we're going to do an easy hike. It was not easy. Yeah. It was like straight uphill for like four miles. <laughs> it was just like a lot. Your friend is like, I guess like this, like very active. Yeah. Person. Well, she like wasn't like this. And then all of a sudden, I guess in the last couple of years, she's like really turned outdoorsy. Oh my gosh. I like forgot why I was there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like it doesn't feel like we're celebrating anything. Yeah, right. Like yeah. <laughs> you're just being punished. Yeah. She was like in it, basic training. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. what am I doing? Every night I'm like freezing thing. and I'm like, what is this? Yeah. Um, so that was my weekend and I've just like never had that experience before work because every other one is like drinking and talking. Yeah, drinking, talking, and no. hanging out. Did, did you like, did you come, did you come out of going, I'm glad I did that or. It was fun. If you um, knew what it was going to be like, would you have gone? I mean, either way I will be there. Yeah. Because she's a good friend. Yeah. But I, the whole time you I was like. You would have made up a couple allergies. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just like, every oh, time I was like, ankle. well, if I ever have one, I'm never doing this. Like <laughs> under my breath, you know? It's like, or well, or you have that. to have revenge and even up it up on like another knot. Yeah. And anyway, we're doing an Iron Man. Yeah. We're doing an Iron Man. Yeah. We're going to war. We're joining the military. <laughs> we're going we're to war. We're being dropped yeah. into Syria. <laughs> we're getting drafted. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you need to come back with 10 
scalps of Russians. Yeah, like I just was wild. I was just I've just never had that experience. Wow. I mean, I'd be barely talked about anything. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I mean. The whole thing is like, I mean, there was you know, no talking I time. I feel a lot of like bachelor parties is like I've said this on the pod before. It's like it's like basic training for men's feelings mm. because like they <laughs> they break they break you down to such a point where at the end you're just like. I love you so much, man, and I'm just afraid of losing right. you. That's always like the, mm. the 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 pinnacle of the bachelor party. Yeah, Even when you get to the point where you can be soft. When and you like, can con- finally, yeah. you could be at, you're at the strip club, you spend a thousand dollars. You're wasted. You're yeah. wasted. You run out of drugs. Yeah, and you're just like, dude, just, just tell just just tell me we'll be friends forever, man. Yeah, and then that's when you get arrested by the police and then you go and then uh, that's the rest of the, right. rest of the party. We didn't have yeah. any of that. What? And I also, and then this is a total side note. I haven't hung out with normies in a while. <laughs> Sorry, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like normies. And like, it was like 12 of us. I think, I think for comedians, it's bachelor parties and bachelor parties are, are like where, yeah, it's our, our, our revisits to, to normiedom. Oh. Yeah. It? Like you re up, you're reminded. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So I really, and it was a big group. It was 12 of us. So it was like 11 normies and me. And I was <laughs> just like, we're, like everyone's talking about their lives. And I was like, oh my God. Give me some normie stuff. Well, you know, like just like people um, driving everywhere. <laughs> Having 401ks. Um, yeah, or mm. like just like talking about their husbands um, mm. Mm. and kids? kind of like uh, no one had kids yet, but they're okay. talking about kids. Yeah. And um, it was just very like everyone's just like desk job, yeah. normal stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I'm there just like, Whoa! <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, why are we walking so much or whatever? Um, <laughs> and so it was just really it was interesting. Oh, and not only were they normies, they were um, they were EDM normies. Oh. Does it, like, like they all like to uh, go to EDC, like that. Energy. ED, do you know Still? EDC? Uh, this is the second time I've heard in a week of really? EDC. I've never heard of it in my life. You know life. why? It's because you're hanging out with Asian people more now. Maybe oh, that's it's what it is. an Asian, Asian thing. thing. Uh, yeah, they what were mostly it? Asian. It's an Asian normie thing. <laughs> What's EDC? <laughs> it is an Asian normie thing. What does it, it stand for? It, Electric, Electric Daisy, Daisy Carnival. Carnival. It's so a it's big festival. Huge. I don't know what kind of music. Electro- electronic. Electronic music. And yeah. Asians like it. They love yes. it. Wow. It's in Vegas. There, it's always like full of like pharmacists. Yes. And no like way. That. But because like it's every- expensive. It's right. very expensive. But everybody nice. looks like hot as shit. Everybody's like working out. Yeah. And wow. like looks fantastic. Like the dudes are all jacked. Nobody has clothes on. Yeah, everyone's it's, shirtless. And it's like, cr- I mean, it looks cool. I would does not. never want to do it. Ever. It's outside. Until 5 a.m. Until in the middle of the night. None of this sounds mm. good to me. I no. want to be the opposite of whatever EDC is. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> I know. If it's daytime, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep in the day. That's great. If it's nighttime and I'm awake, I don't like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, it's 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 a, but it's a normy thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's a lot of talking about that. Wow. Like DJs. I don't listen to EDM. So, I was like, well, okay. Um, or like <laughs> drug experiences, right. you know? Or like, right. oh, like this is my outfit I'm going to wear to EDC this year. Like the plan this year. This is my EDC last year. And I was like, I love to like sit and like talk mm. <laughs> and go to bed at 11. Yeah. Um, so, I was just sitting there. I was like, whoa. I guess that's what you are when you're like a pharmacist. You like that's how you like let your stress out, or like that's, that's what true, your huh? that's what your outlet is, your creative outlet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, I always think when you do stand up, you work in creative industries, you have this expressive outlet all the time. Yeah. And and you and then I remember, oh yeah, other people don't, and so they need these bursts. Totally. To, yeah. So. I'm, so that was like the reminder of that too. It's like, oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm not normal, <laughs> or I am normal, but this is not my normal crowd. Mm. Um. So it was interesting. I mean, like I had fun. I it was so tiring. Yeah, I've just never so done tiring. it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to transition this to talk about bachelorette culture. <laughs> bachelorette and over or culture? like yeah, over at the UK. Ah, oh yeah. So like, we call them hen, hen parties. Like, hen does, parties. like, is it like this? No, the classic hen party is a bunch of gals in pink dresses wearing sashes. Mm. Okay, we have say, that too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we do in Nashville. Um, and yes. like drinking out of penis shaped straws. Yeah. Do you have that? Happens, oh, okay, yes. okay. Yes, okay. Is it one so night? We're not so different. We're not so different. After. Um, or is it a weekend? I think. Mm, I think the party thing is usually one okay. depraved night. Yeah. You know, across the city. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um but I think more and more people started doing like weekends away and yes. you know, people do a little more um tasteful things. Yeah. Have you been um, to a lot of stag dues? I've been on parties? a handful. Hmm. Not loads. Yeah. But 
yeah, I mean, the last one I went on was like we they had had a, a nice house out in the West Country. Oh, and we stayed in this big house. That does nice. <laughs> and and it's just a like couple talk. guys. Yeah, we, we just like <laughs> like all modern millennial guys. Yeah, with odd with like vegetable box subscriptions and yeah. a couple of them were like pe people fighting over who gets to cook for everyone yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, br I brought like wine I was like saying so this is a Bordeaux blend yeah. from <laughs> like gen genuinely that was the, the yes. level of, uh, yes. of guy that we were yeah that's, that's amazing you all wear smoking jackets oh. and just mm. <laughs> yeah Someone brought in an, an, an N64 which is fine and oh that's in, fine and then like the, the, the stag had like drink a bunch of whiskey and and okay. play Golden Eye against yeah. everyone. Oh, that's kind of cool. Know, yeah. that, that, sounds that sounds nice. It was yeah. nice. It was nice. It was yeah, nice. yeah, I didn't need to do what I did <laughs> ever again. Yeah, I, I didn't. I have never been to a bachelor party where I was like, I think I left more in shape than I came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get home, and you're like, yeah. But I was like, my pack. calves are wild. Like, wow, yeah, buff. <laughs> yeah. That was. A, I look then, good. Yeah. <laughs> you open your suitcase and there's a letter from the the bachelorette and she's like, "You're welcome." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to you. Yeah, truly. Yeah. I was like, I think my legs are stronger. Yeah, you're a different <laughs> yeah. person now. Yeah, I'm different. Congratulations. And there's an <laughs> oh, there's you. a picture of before picture and you're like, yeah. who is this? <laughs> yeah, it was just Biggest Loser. It's just yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No. Uh. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. That sounds. Uh. That sounds intense. I don't. Yeah. I, um. I feel like, in general, for bachelor and bachelor parties in the UK and America. They have become more, way more of a, like a thing. I think it used to be where the bachelor party literally was the night before the wedding. Yeah, mm, yeah. and like the point of it was to yeah. almost get the guy so drunk yeah. that he couldn't go to the wedding. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, and that's now not what it is anymore. Right. And now because everybody has to sync their travel points. Yeah, you. It's like it's totally you know, three weeks or six weeks before or something. Yeah, it's this in, wedding is until July. Right, it's in like whatever. Yeah, in. Uh, Nicaragua. Yeah. And you didn't, you know, and then, mm -hmm. yeah. Totally. It's the whole thing. It's yeah. more civilized. What's that? It's more, it's more, it's more civilized. Yeah. yeah. It's like a big thing. Yeah. I think the, the implication with the old style is sort of like the ma a man should not be getting married. Yeah. Right? Uh, and, yeah. And so it's almost the duty of his friends to, to save him from yeah. a life yes, of marriage. Yes, 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 yes. Which, yes. I, which I think our generation of men is more Yeah. No, so ours bit. is... is uh, a man should be able to beat any other man in N64 Goldeneye. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Drinking a nice wine. Drinking yeah, nice, nice, nice so Bordeaux. I, I was on a podcast recently in the UK. We've got a couple as well. Wow. <laughs> and um, it was about oh, masculinity. So and, the, and the host like, well, if, if you came, if a, a time traveler from the f 300 years in the future came back and said, what are you proud of of your generation of men? I said, um, I think we're the, I, I don't think there's ever been a generation of men this good at cooking. Oh, mm. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think I think that's almost certain. The, that has to be true. I think that could be. I that's, think that's true. That's and we're also the true. least toxic generation of men in the history of the, our species. Yeah. Of which we are still I, pretty bad. I know. Yeah. You know? But we're but it's an but still better than anything <laughs> yeah. that's come before us. <laughs> yeah. In yeah. a lot. Yeah. In a yeah. big way. Are I you, think that's true. You're a big cook? I like to cook. I enjoy cooking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Big, I love food. Nice. I'm a bit of a foodie. I'm a bit of a homie. <laughs> that makes you different. <laughs> Very I'm different. not a normie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit of a normie. normie. I'm different. I like food, unlike other people. Uh, yeah. I eat food all the time, actually. Yeah, I sometimes take a photo. <laughs> but there are people who don't like food. Yeah, there's some That's people who don't true. care. Some people yes. just fuel. And they're I'm, quite rare, but I'm still astonished and disgusted yeah. every time I'm Oh, you one. know who? Oh, actually, I don't know if it is true. I feel tech people like that. I'm, I want to bring it back. It was the date that got like that? Delia's date. I wonder if he was going to be like that. Yeah, it's like, oh, mm. if I could just take a pill. Yeah, yeah. these people. Yeah. I just fuel people. I yeah. just drink a gray slurry. Mm. Yes, and that's good enough for me. Exactly, Soylent. I love Soylent. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's okay. Well, I love that we're dragging this guy. Yeah, we are. We don't <laughs> know. He's actually a sweetheart. He's, yeah, I don't care. We're just being extremely. They're, yeah. they're all buying us presents. Yeah, right? Right yeah. they're yeah. gonna come back. <laughs> like, oh, I would have heard back, but uh, my shift at the orphanage. <laughs> my orphanage shift. My orphanage shift. <laughs> Uh, I'm loving the the discussion between um, you know UK versus Malaysia versus America. Well, I think Phil had a topic. Oh, you did. Oh, well, yeah. I was thinking. So yesterday, I went to this very cool bar in in uh, New York called um, Double Chicken Please. Do you know this bar? I feel like I've heard of it. Where I, is it? I, in it, Brooklyn? It, it's in it's it's by the Tenement Museum, right? Lower East Side. Oh, Lower East Side. Okay. And um. It's one of the top 50 bars in the world. Um, did you go with Karen? I did go with Karen. That's yeah. why I've heard of it. Because yeah, she, she told loves, me about she it. it. <laughs> did she go there? 
she said she was like, I want to go to this bar with you. She, <laughs> she goes there all the time. She loves it. Yeah. She's just desperate for anyone who'll go with her. Yeah. Um, and never asked me to go. But is it? <laughs> 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 it's an Asian it's an Asian themed bar well it's, a ta it's Taiwanese Taiwanese and um, and then we've got something to eat also at a Taiwanese place okay but and both places are very cool mm -hmm. and I realized oh I think the Taiwanese are the only cool Chinese <laughs> word <laughs> and because and then, and then it got me thinking about the cool Asians and uh -huh. how like Chinese uh -huh. Chinese cool the Chinese have never been really the cool Asians. Uh -huh. Like the closest we got was maybe the Hong Kong Kung Fu era of the 60s, 70s. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And then nothing. And then, Interesting. and since then, the best we've been able to do is to sort of benefit from cool bleed mm. from the Japanese mm -hmm. and then now the Koreans. Mm. Koreans are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah Koreans, Koreans are the coolest are, Asians. Yeah, Koreans right now are very, very The Japanese top. are the coolest Asians maybe 10 years ago? Yeah. The Japanese were, yeah, cool. We're, yeah, like, we're out now. Um, yeah, eight? the Japanese are out. I don't, yeah, know, we're I don't out. know how long the Koreans have, but it seems to be going on and yeah, on and on. Yeah, I on. think it'll go on for a while. It's I think it'll go on for got, a while. But then yeah. Taiwan, Taiwan seems to be now, this is the up and coming one. This and I wonder if Taiwanese becomes the next is the next a cool Asian. Oh my god! Whoa. Do you ever think about who is going to be the next? <laughs> I think about the Asian cool league tables all the time. Really? Yeah. I guess I I guess I just kind of experience it in the present. I don't think about the future oh, up and coming. I never live in the present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're doing is investing. You're investing in the future. I have nothing I, like... to benefit from this. Uh, it's just but it's just what, purely, it shows up. It's, it's like just like pure you... the enjoyment of speculation. That's but all I know, it is. but it's like when you know a band before it gets cool. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, you're I'm, like, I, if I, 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 I if I could bet on on it, I'd say yeah. Taiwan's next cool Asian. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I could see that I could because see they've got. I mean, uh, you know, they pushed forward a lot of. Did you ever watch um, that documentary about uh, Chinese American food, Asian, you know, mm -mm. Chinese American food? So I guess like the way that. Uh, General So's chicken. Yeah, it came through Taiwan. Okay, and they have a version of it, which is like the they uh, according to the documentary, they found the actual restaurant that invented it. Oh, you know I see. What I'm yeah. Saying? So I think there is some like you know innovation there or something. Whatever yeah. is happening, I think. I um, mean, oh yeah, their food Pretend. culture is incredible. Oh man, mm -hmm. I think they invented also not invented. I don't know, but perfected um, shaved ice. They oh. have a shaved ice thing. Yeah, we have which in Malaysia. One? Mm. What do you mean shaved ice thing? It's yeah. like they have a big block of ice and they just they literally grind it and it's it's kind of like a I guess it's like a snow cone. Is yeah, it's like a snow cone. Yeah. But even like the the really like small the really it's like really small. Yeah, I was about to start speaking in Japanese. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was crazy. We don't have the word as small I was, in Japan. As I was in America, you have to say it in Japanese. As I was talking, I was like, I'm about to switch in my head. Do it. No, 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 no. That no. would be awesome. And then I was like, I had a stroke. <laughs> yeah, I just really had a uh, moment right now. Woo. Oh, everything's in Japanese. Yeah. So, uh, uh, they, I, I, I want to say, did Boba come through Taiwan as well? Boba. I feel like I it think did. It, yeah, that is Taiwanese. Boba yeah, Taiwan. Boba's Taiwanese. You know yeah. what? Maybe people, maybe Taiwan has been cool. We've been sleeping, we've on, been Taiwan sleeping on Taiwan this whole time, everybody. But I mean, mainstream Taiwan. cool. It's yeah. not mainstream yeah. 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 It's not Koreans mainstream cool. mainstream cool. Yeah. What yeah. I think is going to be food. It can't just be food. It's going to have to come from something else. Yeah, it needs some music. It, it needs some music. dramas. A movie. Mm. It's a couple something. movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a parasite it. type of like we hit. Need, we need A24 yes. to get Yeah, we need A24. The second A24 <laughs> invests in you, if you know A24 it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. If it's there's going to be... Yeah. Well, they invest in like Chinese people, brackets general now. Yeah. So, mm. so maybe. Yeah, but it has to be A24. Yeah, 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 totally, yeah. Totally, totally. yeah. It yeah. can't come from a okay. major other major studio. Okay. Yeah, I think that I think that makes sense. <laughs> also, China um, female president, which slays obviously. Oh, hi. oh slay! That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think there, there's a they, lot going for Taiwan. Wow, they they're an island. Everybody loves island. <laughs> Everyone loves an island. <laughs> People can't get enough of that being surrounded by the sea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think um, Taiwan could be the. Was the restaurant cool? Did you eat? The yeah, it's very it hard good. to get like, reservations. Very small wow. and popular, and tasty, cute cocktails. What was that? The what was that? The double chicken, please. Like, what was like the, what made it Taiwanese? Uh, I think it's run by Taiwanese okay. people, and um, a couple of the cocktails are Taiwanese themed. Although they have this one cocktail there. Where it's called the the um, Japanese cold noodles, and it tastes mm. like soba noodles. Yeah. Oh shit amazing it's good yeah i saw so, uh, so this is now the fourth of the best 50 bars in the world that i've been to 
when I went to, for my birthday, I went to Athens and Athens has three of them. Oh, and wow. one night me and a friend, we just did all three. Oh my God. And the first place they have a, they have, it's in a similar vein, they have a cocktail called, called the Greek salad. Yeah. And it's like got olive oil and the, and like, it, and you taste it and it's like, it tastes of feta cheese and cucumber and all that. But it's also, but it's, del- it's okay. so good. <laughs> I was, gonna say, I was like, I do not. <laughs> yeah, you made a face there. I was like, yeah. I don't know to. But it's so nice. Interesting. Okay. So I guess maybe that's the, in order to be one of the best bars in the world, you need a cocktail that tastes like a food. Food. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. where we're going. Okay. To Greece? Yeah, to Greece. Is that what you said? <laughs> I was going to say food tasting drinks. Oh, food tasting drinks. Yes. But you said you said Greece okay. instead. <laughs> uh, what are the, what's the other uh, top bars you've been yeah. to in New York? There's so many here. Oh, New York. Uh, ooh, I can't remember ones? now. No, I've not been to. That's the only one on the list that mm, I've right. been to. Also, what is but this list? It's, co- it's literally called the 50 best bars in the world. Who chose? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like experts, okay. bar, bar experts. But it, this is all they do is the okay. 50 best bars in the world. Okay. So it's not like... So you can trust it. Yeah, it's not like yeah. some like random guy named Tom. That's no. just like... Yeah. I, yeah. No. I, would, I would love it if it was with these things. Kind of like how the Michelin star, like every so often there's like a Michelin star where it's like, it's this one guy who makes barbecue pork. Yes. And it's just yeah. a stand. And I would love if there was a top 50 bars and like number 25th, 25 was like, there's this guy in Tennessee. Yeah. It's in his basement. And it's just in his, mm. he's just a good dude. Yeah. And you come into his living room and you go, hey man, I'm here for the thing. Right. And then he gives you. <laughs> I'm here for the, the thing. thing. <laughs> he gives you like a thing and it tastes like macaroni Slurpee. Yeah. Nice. And you're like, you're, like, yes. you're like, that sounds disgusting. And you, you taste it, it and, and you're, you're like, like this fucking is like the inside of a 7-Eleven. Yeah. And that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. It's, it's so funny that like you have to go really high end to mm-hmm. get. To like get tastes of really so yeah. Low. Yeah. <laughs> like yes, it tastes exactly yeah. like. Oh my god, it's a salad. A, a Pringle. Yeah. How yeah. did you do it? <laughs> Holy crap! Here's three hundred dollars. Yeah. This, 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 this is so real. Yeah. This, this, this does taste like a twenty-four hour fitness. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Um, but otherwise, what what New York is really good for is like you can walk into a decent bar and it's not rammed. Mm. In 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 London, if a bar is halfway decent, there's no space in it. Really? It's just, yeah, it's just full. But there's so many here. Yeah, yeah so many mm. here. That's, That's I like. true. I like there that are about, so about many. About so this one that you went to wasn't that crowded? Oh no, there was packed. We had okay. to queue for like an hour. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, this one, this is one of those like you have to yeah, queue. Yeah, crazy queue ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, it's a good city, man. I'm, I'm come. I, I might be. I don't know if I'm first to say it, New York's a cool city. I like it. <laughs> wow, never it's heard that. Wow. Whoa, what? <laughs> Although, yeah. yeah, as a New Yorker, we have to hard disagree. I this know. Place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you're not real till you're like, fuck this place. This place is just hell, man. I'm gonna go to the subway and start yelling. I'm gonna go to the subway and, and try to. <laughs> oh, that's into, how they end up there. Yeah, they're just that's like, fuck this place. Yeah. Yeah, they, they can't get into uh, double chicken. <laughs> they should, double chicken. Double please. chicken, please. Do they have chicken there? I think yes, they got like the chicken popcorn, like Taiwanese yeah. style deep fried chicken. <gasps> yeah, it's nice. Ah. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. But um, Karen told me to only tell Asian people, which we're safe. <laughs> I think we're safe. I think we're they safe. Were, it was very Asian. Yeah, Asian so really? only yeah, go yeah. if you're Asian. You know what? If you're an ally, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> you really got to earn it. You yeah, you got to earn it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel this is, I'm glad you're telling me these because now sometimes people will visit you know, my sister loves coming to New York and she's like, Where where's the place to go? I have literally no idea anymore. Because New mm-hmm. York like changes, like it turns over so fast. Yeah. So like yeah. the places yeah. that I used to are all swear to God, all of them are coffee bean tea leaves now. Every single yeah. one oh. has become a coffee bean and tea leaf. Mm. <laughs> and so now I don't know where to go. So this is this is good to know. Oh, do you know what's an amazing bar I went to last time? Also with Karen, friendly enough, was um I didn't know Karen called... drink Karen never parties with me. She, she never Karen parties with me. with me. She drinks a lot. <laughs> uh, She's a tank. This is do you know this bar called Burp Castle? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that place rules. Where is that? I don't go to bar. East Village. Oh, okay. It's and such an interesting thing. It's a bar uh-huh. where the house rule is you have to be quiet. So it's supposed oh. to be modeled after like a monastery where they like brew beer. Uh-huh. And so the whole thing in the bar and, and they have really good beer selection. Uh-huh. So you go in there and if the volume of the bar gets too loud, the bartender will shush everybody mm. and he mm. brings it back down. Mm. And, it, and it's like it's a dance the whole night where it's like, I see. Up, and it goes down. It's lovely. Oh, it's, really? it's so unique. It's, it's great. It's but so you calming. can talk. You can, but you have to be, have to be very, very quiet. quiet. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. You yeah. have to talk about like Ecclesiastics. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, what does it mean to be one with God? You yeah, know, so that kind of, yeah, that energy. Soon, so getting to bachelor party. Yeah, like then the, you're, you're out. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's a lovely idea. Wow. Yeah, and it I, seems like such a throwback, and not I mean not even throwback like 16th century throwback. <laughs> I mean like throwback in like a this was a fun concept in 1993, and it just kept going. <laughs> is that how old it is? I don't know. It seems I think old. It's pretty old. I think it it's feels old, old yeah. right? It feels like. It's amazing. It's great. It's great that an idea like that has survived. Exactly. Mm, yeah. But yeah. like, uh, or have you ever been to Decibel? No. That place is it's a Japanese sake place, and it feels like it's like in a basement. So mm. when you go through it, you feel kind of like you're going through like a, like a you know a 1980s Wong Kar Wai feel to it. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And it's uh, all sake. It's like a hundred different kinds of sake, and it's the same thing. Where it's okay. like this was uh, an awesome idea in the 80s, and it kept going. <laughs> the, the 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 most like eighties like coke field idea of a bar I've ever been to was a uh, it was a fun idea a bar in Hong Kong, it's called like Wolf I don't know like Wolf Glass Wolf Street or something like that, and they there's um there's like I don't know what you call the screen with all the running stock prices on it in, oh, in the yeah, stock yeah. market the ticker the ticker, the ticker yeah. yeah there's one there's a live one on screen okay. that tracks which cocktails which drinks are getting bought yeah and the more drink is bought the more expensive it gets oh <laughs> really so, yeah so the, okay. whichever drink is currently the most popular in the buy is the most expensive to buy <laughs> how, how much oh can it, it go actually chase, changes the price yes yeah, oh, it changes wow, the wow, price okay. yeah yeah so how how much can it <laughs> how high can funny. it go it's a funny idea yeah. um i mean the, because it's hong kong it's already very expensive right. when it starts yeah. anyway but yeah it can t- it'll tick up by a couple of dollars here and there or tick down Depending on, but then, but then, if you want to save money, you have to go like the grossest, yeah, <laughs> the grossest cocktail, yeah, the Seven yeah. Eleven macaroni. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. It's um, such a funny. It's the kind of thing you you you, you drop in. And you go, like, this is a great idea. And you have your first drink. Yeah, and you're like, you're like, this yeah. is a stupid idea. Yeah. Like, I just want to go to, to a normal bar. Yeah, now. I feel like in New York, if they had that, it would just be all of the espresso martinis. I was just going to say like espresso martini. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, it'd be so expensive. But like, but like. The but the bachelorette parties would still be ordering a yeah. dozen. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, a yeah. jug of. I feel so guilty whenever I have a, a espresso martini. I always feel so bad. Why? Why? Because you feel basic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just judging. Well, you, there yeah. was that. Also, I've I've heard. I don't know if this is completely true. I, it sounds true. I think it is that it's hard to make. It's like very time consuming. Oh really? It doesn't. Why? Oh, gosh, I just. I, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it's like. Because you got to make the espresso and then you got to do the thing, I and guess. You, gotta, you know, and like crafting it. Yeah. So it's not like, a, I don't know. I don't know if it's especially more di- different than. Maybe chilling the espresso after you make it is takes a bit of time because it's <laughs> hot. Know. But uh, I guess mm. I've never made one. I've never thought about it that much, but like I, I do feel bad ordering one now. I feel bad ordering it because it's a horrible drink. <laughs> what? You don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm also sorry. makes me feel bad about yeah. it. I'm sorry that it doesn't taste like a like a like a Caesar salad. Or whatever. You're yeah. looking for. Yeah, you're, you're like, like this doesn't taste like solid food. Wait a minute. This is, <laughs> what the oh, hell? I'm sorry. This is very pleasant. Yeah. What's wrong with us? Excuse me. Can't you have something where it tastes uh, like the bartender spit in my yeah. mouth? <laughs> uh, uh, it is a functional drink, though. It'll it keep is a you functional going. Drink. That's, yeah. that's what's good about I'm it. I'm just saying sure. that, like. I feel like we've moved away. When have when people we've moved away from God <laughs> and the Red Bull vodka? Okay, we need to ah. come back to the Red Bull vodka. Everybody, is right. Red Bull still a thing? Do people still drink? That's Red what Bull? I'm saying. It is. It is a thing. Oh, people do. I mean, it still exists as a company. Okay, that's good. I, don't I mean, know I don't still, know if that's good. <laughs> but it used to be like your thing, the thing. If you yeah, to totally. Do functional. Totally. Mm-hmm. Really right. functional. Yeah. yeah. Red Bull vodka. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you hate yourself. But oh God, yeah. The mm, hangover. It's a horrible is. drink. It's rough. That's a bad drink. It's rough stuff. Unless, unless, unless somebody's like, this will taste like a Red Bull vodka, but it's not. Oh, Red Bull vodka. I see. It's based <laughs> on a traditional Thai drink, isn't it? The the a, yeah, Red yeah. Bull. It's like a Red Bull. It drink. is. It's a Thai drink. It yeah. From Thailand. I yeah. did not know so. that. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. What's Everything's your... Asian. <laughs> That's your conspiracy theory. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel. Uh, from from coming on the show and, and 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 talking to you, you seem like a much more sophisticated guy than I thought you were going to be. Oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. Well, what did oh, you expect? Oh, well, my podcast is not very sophisticated mm. with Pierre. Not Although that you we weren't talk about sophisticated, heavy subjects sometimes, but, but I feel like you know you're you're consi- you know I feel a lot of my stand up is yeah it's my stand up sort of revels in kind of a, a sort of boyish yes yeah. mm. but um, but I, I don't I'm not really like in person maybe. but I feel too also there's a lot of comedians I know who have. Who like travel? They're very, they're very like 
I go to the city, I do the thing, and I go home. And like, I'm not here to like ab- absorb mm. some culture a little oh, bit. Oh, no, you have to. Yeah. Like most of it. I'm going to try mm-hmm. to go to gallery or something. I was tr- Last time I came, I went to see um, uh, Starry Night. Um, oh, the little like display, the, the projected one? No. The um, actual Starry Night. The actual Starry Night. No, yeah. Um, like in, um, Van Gogh. Van Gogh's um, Starry Night. Because uh, it, it, it's here. It's in the... Like in, uh, it's in the MoMA. MoMA. Yeah. yeah. And it's been here since 1945, which is crackers. Mm. Um, that was wonderful. One of the best experiences of my life I've seen that painting. Really? It's one, yeah, it is a really nice painting. I always I stumble so upon it. Is that a weird thing to say? What do you mean? mean? Just like, like, like I in don't the street? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and then what? they're like, oh my God, is it you, Starry Night? And Starry yeah. Night's like, oh shit, that's Jenny. Yeah, oh, I'm like, fuck. this is so awkward. Oh, yeah. hey. Um, oh, no, that, listen, I... <laughs> last night was a mistake. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna block you on Instagram. <laughs> um, no, I feel like I stumble upon it at museums. Like I just go, I don't know it's there, and then this I see is, it. It's only at one museum. Though. It is it really? Oh, like when it goes on tour. You yeah. Mean, and, oh man. I feel like, so yeah. I feel like I've seen it three or four times. Wow. Just like randomly. That's well, that's really I had to nice. go. I had to go on a special pilgrimage to see it. Yeah. Sorry um, not to but, brag. But. but the art is so good, and and there's just so much. There's, there's so, so much so many art. Good museums. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great city. I don't know if anyone said this, but. Um, yeah, I'm not, I like to hang out. If I can. What's your okay then? So what's your what's your you go to a place? Seems like a nice bar. Um, what's your what's your drink move? Like the classic? Yeah, like you know it's 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 a it's a regular bar. It seems like a little upscale, but you don't know exactly what the menu has yet. But you're just I'm like, getting a cocktail. You're getting cocktails. What are you gonna do? This is basic guy. Okay. <laughs> but okay. I don't know what the, hand, the hands yeah, are the up. Yeah, the hands are up. The classic up. guy yeah. hands are up. This is a basic guy. Um, I <laughs> love we'll do it too, as in solidarity. A Negroni. I love a Negroni. Uh, yeah, Negroni. Yeah. Negroni's yeah. nice. A it's, it's a kind of boring guy drink, but real nice. I mm-hmm. like a Negroni. I do a twist on that Boulevardier. Huh? Which What's is that? Negroni. That? It's a Negroni, but with, uh, with uh, rye instead of gin. Oh, okay. It's exactly the same. And it sounds cool as shit. It's a little heavier. It. It's a little like. Uh, you know? I, I, I would say a tiny bit, a okay. tiny bit, but it's really nice. What also. is it called? A boulevard. Boulevardier. A boulevard. And it sounds cool. Yay. It does sound cool. Boulevard. Boulevardier. You know? Yay. Oh, yeah. 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 Boulevardier. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm just no, once pronouncing again, it the disrespect. phonetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, so the You're just pronouncing it correctly. Spell. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> I like a margarita now. I didn't think I would. Yeah, margarita. Margarita's are great. A real yeah. margarita. I love tequila, I've learned. I think tequila's my spirit. I love tequila. Wow. Oh, so nice. Have Apparently you had mezcal? It's the only one. I love mezcal. I had a mezcal cocktail last last very night. Wow. Okay. Karen? Yeah. I like a mezcal. We keep circling like to- back to the fact that Karen doesn't invite you out. <laughs> Karen literally hates me. Okay. Continue. <laughs> it's like a smoky te- um, yeah, tequila. It's so, so nice. good. It's the best. You know, if you're if you uh, ever are in West Texas, you can find it in other places, but West Texas, if you like tequila and you like mezcal, Sotol. Sotol. It's, a, it's also in the family. It also comes from our dog. Ah, yeah. S-O-T-A-L. Okay. It's the best. Nice one. West it's Texas. Really, it's a West Texas thing, wow. but you can find it in other places. It's apparently, people say it's the only sort of alcohol or spirit that picks you up. It's like the only that's alcohol that's be, an upper. That's supposed oh. to be... Because oh. alcohol is normally a depressant. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if I buy it, but it feels like it. Because I always feel much better after tequila than... Interesting. ...another spirit, oh. to be honest. You're the first person who's ever said that. Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever said that. sounds horrible. <laughs> I mean, it sounds rough. Well, well, I'm the first person to ever say what? Tequila, tequila is makes, like you a, feel makes you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be an upper. Not mm. be better, but an upper. Just oh, like... Okay. Yeah. yeah. It just picks you up. Yeah. yeah. picks you up. All right. Yeah. I already don't shut up, so I don't need anything else to help me. Um... Was there anything else we were going to cover? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm just I know. We're just chit-chatting now. We are. Um, we're, we're, uh, I think we have covered all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what, are the, what other things are you going to do here? Um, yeah. I might go to Ellis city. Island on my last day. I've got one of those awkward days where I have a... You, you see, you're surprised that I'm going to go to Ellis Island. <laughs> I've just never been. Right. I've never yeah. been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I've just got one of those just days where I've got a fly, late flight and i got to check out early in the day. So yeah. I'm like, well, maybe we'll go to Ellis Island. Yeah. And, yeah. Explore. Emigrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really fun just, stuff. Just yeah. Come in there is like, hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Um, okay. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, it sounds fun. Um, it's been a lot of fun having you on. No, thanks for having me on. It's yes, been a pleasure. Thank you for doing this. I would love to have you do our show. Uh, yeah. Hack, Hack, City. Hack City. Yes, Hack City. I'd love to. I'd love to. Or Hopefully next time it'll, uh, my trip will line up. 
Yeah. yeah. Have you done yeah. a tour in America yet? I have. Yeah, I did last year, right. um, last May. I started in New York and then ended at um, in LA for the Netflix Comedy Festival. Oh, oh yeah, mm. oh, that's right. I thought it was my, the first my first night in LA in my life. I was being interviewed by David Letterman. Whoa, <laughs> it was crackers because he had like he had like a one off show right. yeah. interviewing. I felt a bit bad for him because like the, the series he did there beforehand, he was interviewing Barack Obama and Kanye West. <laughs> and then now he's interviewing me, a yeah. man he's never heard <laughs> of in his life. You're like, hello. <laughs> I sure, um, you know, uh, I, I feel sometimes you just need to have like a, like a break from all the crazy, I don't know, especially Kanye. After Kanye, you got to like go normal. Gotta go normal in. Oh right, like yes, just talk yes, to a normal person. Yeah. Rock, rock to yeah. talk to someone who's just gonna talk to you about like tequila. You know? Yeah, like, like paying thing. rent. Exactly. Has yeah. there ever been a talk show where the host just talks to random people who are like a garbage man or a cleaner or a fisherman, like not famous? They just turn up and they talk about what they do. Mm. Has there ever been a show like that? I guess, I guess do- documentaries, not, but yeah. not like a talk show, like, not- like a real bo- like a like a basic person. Well, just a show. normal person, just a non-famous yeah. person who has a job. I like goes to EDM. Goes yeah, yeah, EDC. Yeah, EDC. Probably. yeah, I feel like Conan does some stuff where he like goes around and meets people. Sometimes. Mm. Like, mm. That's how you but do I mean, all the I mean coming, but, like, coming into, in. onto set so and like you're sitting gonna on the sofa. <laughs> you're going to have a set and yeah. you're going to find a garbage person. Like a, t- <laughs> like like a, a terrible person. person. Yeah. Like a garbage, a garbage mo- person. No morals. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just. A regular, ch- a regular, 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 show. Sh- regular schmo. No. Comes on. I think. This is yeah. it. They got to do it. I don't think so. I think no. I would be on though if they got in a car and got coffee. Yeah, okay. I would that's be into the, that. Then. That's the component <laughs> that's that the Mike trick. likes. <laughs> if Mike likes that part of it. Garbage people in cars <laughs> getting, getting coffee. Getting getting over it. And that's that's great. Uh well, thank you very much for coming on again. Thanks for having me. Guys. Please uh hit us up anytime. You can come back on this podcast. You can come back on you can do Hack City. You can do whatever you want. You can Please. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever yeah. you want, please. You do Daddy. Just don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how can our fans uh, find you and uh, your work? Oh, are there are clips of me on YouTube. I have a special on Netflix called Philly Philly Wang Wang. I'm in the first series of Life and Beth on Hulu, Amy Schumer's show. And keep an eye out for the second series. And follow me on Instagram at Wangpix. <laughs> P-I-X, Wang, Wangpix. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, that's it really. <laughs> oh, I listened to my, my podcast with Pierre is called which um which Mike hates is um called Bud Pod. I'm just jealous. It sounds like super fun. But this is also super fun. Yeah, <laughs> what the you, hell? Johnny's face when, when you said that. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell, Mike? <laughs> it just seems like you guys get on yeah, and have guys, a nice time. You guys oh. sound really funny and <laughs> fun <laughs> together. And just like really connect and like I just wish I had somebody like that in my life. Like, yeah, neither what of the really fuck? annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you can find us on Instagram oh at Asian Not Asian Pod, and you can find me on there at Nice Pants Bro. You can find me at Jenny Arimoto. <laughs> oh my God, it's I'm true. offended. It's I'm true. ending today today offended. <laughs> <laughs> now I can get on Bud Pod. That's that's yeah. my goal. That's my goal. Uh, until uh, then, uh, we love you. Stay safe, and um, you know, enjoy your cocktails, everyone, responsibly. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Bye. Bye.